Hi, Rick from Man of the Models, DJI and unique dealer from the UK and RC specialist store for over 40 years. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering a little versus Phantom 4 versus Typhoon H. Lately, I've been noticing in a lot of video reviews, uh, the view reviews and comparison uh, reviews have not been overly um, fair. I kind of feeling that they're being a little bit biased towards the Phantom 4 and just some of the points which are valid that they make when they're doing verses each, uh, but I just feel sometimes they're all always seem to be pitching towards the Phantom 4. So there's a couple of little points I'm going to cover that will uh, basically re-look at and how I feel how they compare, because I think they're two very different craft. One's good for one thing, one good for the other, um, but I think they get compared a lot, but not in a very fair light. So we're going to see how long it takes to get a Phantom 4 from the box uh, to basically being completely ready to fly. So this is if you were doing a cold start from arriving on the job or you're going to do some filming and this is for when it go from here to full GPS log, full FPV screen and ready to fly. So I'm just going to quickly time it so we can compare, compare it to the Typhoon H on my smartphone. So we just go. Now I'm not going to do it at race speed or anything. I'm just going to do it as if I was actually going out to have a wee flight myself. And there we go, so we're at 2 minutes 13 seconds, so we'll now do it with the Typhoon H and see how they compare. So now the same again, but we're going to do it with the Typhoon H. So starting now. Now I have a, an advanced model, but obviously the Pro RS will pretty much boot up in exactly the same time. So one wee trick I do with the advances, as you notice I'm turning the craft on before I put the props on. This way it just speeds up the boot up time slightly because traditionally the boot up time on the the uh, Typhoon H is slightly slower than the Phantom because it just takes uh, a little bit longer for the video feed to come through to the monitor but I find if you get out of the box, get it turned on and then start putting the props on, which obviously takes a bit longer than the Phantom 4, that is going to speed your time up a bit. But one good thing is, of course, when you turn your controller on, uh, as you can see, that that has got the tablet built in. So just let that boot up. So we are actually turned on the crash ready, but as you can see, we're waiting on the uh, FPV feed coming through here. So we're at 1 minute 6 so far. As I said before, both craft are very good, and both are very good in their own right. The R2, although they're priced very similar, I do feel that they're almost two different craft, and they appeal to sort of two different customer bases. And um, I find the Phantom 4 is a very good consumer drone. As you see, the box packs down extremely small, where the Typhoon H, um, it's a bit bigger, it's not as portable, but possibly if you're maybe getting into commercial work, it does look a lot more pro. And there we go. So actually 1 minute 53. So from start, cold start, to ready to fly, GPS lock, the Typhoon H actually is in fact quicker. Now, a lot of the videos I've seen doing comparisons generally obviously stack towards DJI. Um, the Phantom 4 obviously was made out to connect up much, much quicker. But if you do it from a complete cold start, in fact, the Typhoon H is actually quicker to get ready.